Welcome to Simple Yoga Asana on Downward Dog. In this class, we are going to slow down a little bit, so it would be really great after a chaotic day or to prep for one coming up. I hope that you enjoy our class today. Let's find a comfortable seated position with the spine nice and long, and you can cross the legs or sit on the heels, whatever is most comfortable, so that you can allow the eyes to softly shut. Feel the length in the spine, like the head is a balloon, and it's getting lighter with each breath. See if you can relax your shoulders, your fingers and toes. And just focus on the breath, entering and exiting the nose. And then relax the jaw, but keep the tip of the tongue connected to the backs of the top teeth. And just notice your thoughts, notice your focus, notice your breath. Notice the sounds that are far away. Notice the sounds that are close by. Notice the sounds of your own breath. Interlace the fingers and place the hands supporting the skull behind the neck, really opening the shoulders and the elbows as much as we can. I'll be doing the same as you, not mirroring you. So we will inhale to the left and exhale to the right. In and out of the nose. And once you have found a rhythm, so you start to move a little faster. And close the eyes when you are ready. And then keep feeling that length through the spine and really allow that twist to come from your core. So not pulling with your arms, but letting the twist initiate from the same place where your breath initiates. Just a little longer, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, coming to center. Really open the elbows as wide as we can. Hold the breath at the top. And then exhale, release the hands down to our knees, palms facing down. And we'll inhale, spill the heart forward, gazing up, roll the shoulders back. And then exhale, like you're being pulled from the center of your back, pulling back behind you, and your chin comes down towards your chest. Inhale, let your chest pull you forward. Rolling the shoulders back, inhaling in as much as we can, and then exhale, and heading all the way back. Just moving here for a little while, feeling that full inhale, full exhale. Full flexion and extension of the spine. Full breath in, full breath out. The breath is the one thing that is completely transferable to any practice that you do. The breath is our bridge and our connection between mind, body. The breath as our focal point. Allows us to master 
the basics so that we can really get to know our bodies. So let's inhale to center. Hold the breath at the top. This time we're going to engage Mula Bandha, which is the whole pelvic floor. So for now, you can just engage everything around your whole pelvis as you hold your breath. And then when you're ready, you just exhale and let it go. Keeping the eyes closed, let the breath return to normal. Notice if your thoughts are a little different, if your focus is a little different, if your breath is a little different. And then we're going to find our way out to all fours. So to our tabletop, our knees will be right under our hips, our hands right under our shoulders. And let's begin to really spread our fingers, spread our palms, feel like we are a gecko and we're connecting with the floor. This will be important as we move into our later poses. And as we breathe here, extending through the crown of the head, we'll take an inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. And exhale in reverse, really pressing into the hands, press into the tops of the feet, press out all that air. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Just a few more really deep inhales, really stretching out the whole body. And really long exhales, press out a little more air than you think you can. And allow the spine to return to neutral. We'll start by coming down to just our forearms. And then we'll place the crown of our head down on the ground as best we can. Now maybe we're just working on that flexibility in the neck. You can press out of the shoulders, press out of the hands. If you can, take the weight out of your hands and interlace the hands behind your back. Maybe just working on that shoulder flexibility. And you can send your pinkies up and over toward the ground on the other side if you would like. Taking a few breaths, opening the shoulders. And if that's all just too much on the neck, you can come sitting back on the heels. And just try and send the pinkies up and over the forehead gently on the ground. And take a few deep breaths. Gently releasing back to our tabletop position. And this time we're going to walk our hands out in front of us as far as we can. Still spreading the fingers. Try and keep the hips right over the knees until we start to sink the heart down toward the earth. Really working on opening up the shoulders. You can release the head as the last thing. Try and sink into the hips, sitting the sits bones up toward the ceiling. And then see if you can pull your ribs in with the strength of your core. And let the opening happen through the shoulders. Spread the fingers and breathe. I'll come back up through a tabletop and then sink all the way out to our elbows. 
Again, spreading the fingers, pressing down with the whole palm. And then we'll inhale and we'll press away from the earth as best we can. And then exhale, drop our chest into our shoulders and then drop the chin toward the chest. And then inhale, press away, lengthen, and exhale, drop into the shoulders, drop the weight of the head. A few more. And the next time that you find yourself down, we'll just exhale and release into those shoulders for a few breaths. And then we'll take the right arm out to the right side, bend the left knee, send the left heel up and over. Really pressing down with that right palm, opening up the shoulders. And then coming back through center, take the left arm out to the left side, bend the right knee, send that heel up and over. Take a few breaths. And coming back through center. And this time we will bring our hands back toward our ribs. Close in, pull the elbows in toward each other. Tuck the toes. And if we can, we'll take an inhale right up to plank. In that upward push-up. And then exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up for plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up for plank. Exhale one forearm at a time down to forearm plank. Interlace the fingers except for the pinky. Press that down into the earth. If you need to, you can place the knees down any time. And take a few breaths. Try and find a little bit of a round in the spine. Pulling the elbows toward the toes. And on an inhale, see if you can use the opposite arm of what you might usually use. We're going to inhale up for plank. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale up for plank. Exhale down to forearm plank. Any of this can be done on our knees. Inhale up for a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, forearm plank. One more time, on the knees or not. Inhale up for plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, forearm plank. And hold for a few breaths. When you just can't hold it anymore, just find your way all the way down to the mat. Make a little pillow with your hands. Turn the cheek to one side. And take a few breaths. And let's find our way out. Flip over. And come to seated with one leg out in front of it and the opposite leg, let's do our right leg out, left heel in, we'll flex the right toes back toward us, really engaging the quadricep. See if we can sit up tall if we need to, we can place our hands behind us. We're just going to walk forward and then grabbing on wherever we can, the shin, the toes, back at the knee. At first, let's 
Just take an inhale in and we'll flex the quadricep, really pressing into that heel. And then we'll exhale and we'll just bend the knee, let the quadricep relax, let the head come down. So we'll inhale, straighten, press through, press long. And then exhale and just bend and roll down. Inhale, straighten and activate. And exhale, rolling down. Now we'll inhale and activate that leg. And then let's keep the leg active as we exhale and roll down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rolling down. Inhale up one more time, really keeping that leg active. And exhale. And then we'll come back up to center. Let the left leg come out. Pull the right heel in. Grabbing on wherever is comfortable. And we'll inhale. Flex that leg. Press through the heel. And then exhale. Bend and relax. Roll down. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, let it relax. And then we'll inhale and straighten. This time as we exhale, keep that thigh active. Keep the toes pulling back. And exhale, rolling down. Inhale, lengthen up. Keep the leg active as we exhale. And reach long. Inhale up, and exhale, and coming back up through center, both legs out, and the same idea, grab on wherever is most comfortable, and then we will inhale, flex the toes, activate the quadriceps, lengthen through the crown of the head, exhale, relax the leg. Bend the knees, let the chest relax. Inhale, activate. Exhale, release. Inhale up. And exhale down. Now keeping the legs active, inhale, flex the toes, engage the quads. Exhale, lengthen out, keep it active. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release just the torso. Inhale up one more time. Exhale, releasing out. And we'll just take a few breaths. Keeping the legs active. Lengthening through the crown of the head. And then rolling up one vertebra at a time. And we'll come all the way back onto our backs. And let's keep the left knee bent. Place the left heel down. And then we'll inhale the right heel up. Exhale that right heel just an inch up off the earth. So inhale up and exhale it down. So just one leg, leg lifts. I want you to really use your core, try and press the low back down. So that way we're not just using the hip flexor, just the, the front of the hip on the right side. But we're using the whole core to help and move that leg. And switch to the other side. Moving as quickly as is comfortable. Now we'll move slowly. We'll reach both heels out first. Press the hands down. We'll press the feet in toward each other. And at first, let your stomach head up toward the ceiling. So we're really disengaging the core muscles. And then try and lift your legs. And see how we're using 
our hip flexors, we're using the low back to try and lift the legs up off the earth. Now press the low back down, flex the toes, try and press out through the heels and really use that deep core to inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, get them as low as you can. Inhale up. Exhale, float them down. Just a few with your own breath. And let's extend out and then flip over for a plank pose. Pressing back through the heels, spreading the fingers, spreading the palms. And we'll take an inhale here. And then exhale, lifting up and back, sinking the heart toward the toes. Inhale, coming forward to plank. And then exhaling back, pulling the low ribs in, pressing out through the shoulders. Inhale to plank. And then exhale and touching on our downward facing dog. Inhale forward one more time. And then exhaling back. And let's take a few breaths in our downward dog. Let's walk the feet out to the edges of our mats. So we can feel nice and wide through the hips. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Sinking the heart toward the toes. Engaging the core. Pulling the low ribs in. Try and press out through the fingers. And take a few deep breaths. And we'll place the elbows down on the earth, pressing the palms down. Try and press out of the shoulders, still sinking the heels down. And try and sink your heart toward the toes, opening the shoulders. And then coming back up to our hands, and the feet back to hip distance apart. We'll bend the left knee and press back into that right heel. And then bend the right knee and press back into the left heel. And we'll place the knees down nice and wide on the mat, big toes together, and sink down into a nice, long child's pose. Feeling the length in the spine, length in the breath. And coming all the way forward. And then finding our way down to our back. Let's pull our knees into our chest and stay right here, releasing the low back or reach the insides of the knees and the outsides of the feet and open up the hips and a happy baby, gently rocking from side to side, wherever you are. And then we'll hold on to that right knee, straighten the left leg out. Pull the right knee over the body with the left hand. Look toward the right side and find a nice full twist through the whole spine. A few deep breaths. And coming back through center. Straighten the right leg out, pull the left knee in, and pull it over the body with the right hand. 
looking out to the left side, and again a few deep breaths. And coming back through center, place the heels down, and then we'll press the heels down, lift the hips up, and come into a nice bridge. Rolling up onto the shoulders, you can press the hands down, or interlace them underneath you. And then we'll reach the left heel up toward the sky, try and get the right hip a little higher. And placing the left heel down, reach the right heel up, and breathe. Releasing the hands, placing the heels down, come up to the balls of the feet, roll down one vertebra at a time, and extend the legs out into a final Shavasana. Tucking one shoulder blade and then the other, letting the hands fall away from each other, letting the toes fall away from each other. Releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth if it's still connected. And again, listening to the sounds that are far away. And then listening to the sounds that are close by. And listening to the sounds of your own breath. Give yourself just a little bit of time.
slowly find your way back to your body, back to your breath. You can decide if you'd like to stay right here, melting down into your mat. Or start to activate your fingers and toes, roll the shoulders and hips, and gently find your way back to that same comfortable seated position in which we started our journey together. Notice your thoughts, notice your focus, notice your breath. Mastering the first steps is what will bring clarity to the rest of the journey.